What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and 800 Lil Fats, 800 Lil Twan. We all know exactly who that is. I actually had them in front of this camera right here when I interviewed them. Dope interview. Um, I did get that vibe that they were really, really, really about that, you know. But news have broke that, you know, the police is accusing 800 Lil Fats and 800 Lil Twan of, you know, robbing like an ATM. They killed the armored truck guard. I guess wounded that her partner very seriously. Then the police is claiming that they, you know, killed their two friends to cover it up. Allegedly, you know, this is what the police is claiming. So this is a big case. These guys were caught. They were locked up and shit like that. Um, now news is breaking out that 800 Lil Twan is accusing 800 Lil Fats of telling, working with the police, cooperating, you know, the not keeping his mouth closed. And a lot of people didn't really believe that because, you know, 800 Lil Fats got that reputation of being a real street dude, a person niggas don't fuck with, you know, but this is kind of crazy. You know, um, when I heard about this case, it was alarming to me because I interviewed them young men. It's a piece of me want to say freedom young men, you know. Uh, the police is alleging this. They saying they innocent. We're not going to do the police job. That's how I feel the piece, you know. And it's a piece of me that's like, man, that armored truck guard, even though y'all say police 12, that was a black lady, a young lady. You know, she has kids, a family, and shit like that. She was taken away doing her job trying to feed her family. That shit rubbed me the wrong way, you know. And I tell people that, you know. And this culture is kind of like backwards, and I'm not sure. But um, 800 Lil Twan is accusing Fats of telling. Fats actually responded, said he not telling. Twan doing this shit because he's five and he don't got no commissary. Nobody fucking with him. So he got to do dirty shit like this. This the scare tactics, basically, is what he's saying. 800 Lil Twan then responded, dude. It's basically a rat. It's a whole video out. You know, so it's like they going back and forth. These guys are co-defendants. They going to be fighting the case. They fighting for their lives. I don't really think it's time for that right now, to be honest with you. But it happens like that. We didn't see this with several people who have been co-defendants. FBG Butter, Lil J, uh, C. Day Rondo. We didn't see this before. You know, when two people be facing these cases, you start to realize, yeah, this street shit cool. But niggas be wanting to see their mamas and their families and shit. Not saying nobody telling them anything like that. I'm just saying this is what's going on. Um, it's crazy, actually, you know. Uh, we're going to keep you updated on this. You got to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be giving you more news because there's a lot of shit going on in the coach. And True Teller kind of been gone doing interviews and all kind of stuff. So we back. We're going to be on the culture. Uh, we back to the board videos and all kind of stuff. I appreciate the love. Um, I've been appreciating the support on the music videos. Now, y'all can't act like y'all can't give me more views on them videos, you know. But I appreciate the love anyway. I got a new music video that's going to be dropping pretty soon. Again, this is just for the culture. Remember, I'm not no rapper. I don't want to be an artist. I don't want to be the next Drake. I just want to put a lot of good, feel good energy in the culture. You know, it kind of feel like the culture be dying down and ain't nothing but the bullshit, the drama in the culture. So I try to bring different lanes, different avenues in the coaches you know the short films the tv series the documentaries blogs now we're doing little music videos just trying to find different lanes in the drill culture that expose a lot of people's happening so i appreciate the love subscribe to my youtube channel because there's a lot of shit coming up but uh so i'm a true tell the street reporter